What up Terrapins? My name is E. Welcome to another edition of Turtle Wandering. Getting ready to go out for a meetup with the Afros crew, Afros in Nature, in a little bit. But beforehand, felt like I needed to spend some time outside somewhere a little bit different and kind of get like a mental health break, a little bit of outdoor therapy for myself. So found a park in the city of Easton that I am checking out and i um, going to go see what it's all about. So people think it's cool to create little pyramids like this and while they, they look neat, they're honestly not helpful to the environment because oftentimes the rocks are there for a reason uh, where they're originally placed and it helps with things like erosion and diverting water. So um, yeah, don't do this. Oh, wow. Really glad I found this place. Absolutely love urban parks, and this one is still an urban park. I mean, what's amazing is that I can see the Delaware River right there, and all these beautiful views of the mountain and the sky, and yet I can still hear traffic and ambulances and, and things like that so it's that interesting juxtaposition um, but it's just beautiful and it's so peaceful and it's kind of what I feel like I needed so I think I'm just going to sit here for a while and enjoy this You know, as we're slowly coming out of the pandemic, one of the things that's striking me as interesting and unfortunate all at the same time is the fact that, you know, during the height of the pandemic, people were able to talk very openly about things like mental health and how they were struggling and, you know, pandemic stress and, and all that. And it feels like, like many things, that as we are coming out of the pandemic, all of a sudden, somehow, everyone's 
mental health is all of a sudden supposed to be like magically better. Um, you know, that we could trash it for the better part of a year, year and a half. And then just the fact that things are opening up all of a sudden just makes everything resolved. And, you know, the reality is that, you know, these sort of things take years. And, you know, if it took a year to trash your mental health, it may easily take a year, a year and a half or more to get better from that. You know, whether you're doing traditional therapy, um, whether you're going the medication route or a natural path route, you know, like CBD or something like that, um, you name it, it's just going to take a while. And I think what we have to do is one, give ourselves permission to grieve what we lost over the last year, but then also grieve the changes that are happening now, because just because the pandemic's over, um, doesn't mean that the adjustment back to normal or more like typical, um, I guess would be a better way of putting it, all of a sudden goes away, you know? So that's its own grieving process because now what has become our daily lives is changing back. You know, a lot of people are going back to their offices if they've been working from home and some folks aren't adjusting well with that or, you know, having to travel more. Maybe travel was a part of your work and some people miss that some people didn't so much and they're like huh you know I'm thinking about even some of my colleagues that I know who have kids and as stressful as it was to be parent and you know co-teacher at the same time they also really enjoyed spending more time with their kids and the idea is things are changing and thankfully you know the majority of kids should be going back to school full-time in the fall as we're wrapping up the end of this school year and you know different different districts throughout the country kind of did their own thing it's good but there was something that people enjoyed about being able to spend time with their children and really getting to know their family in a way you know in a much more intimate way so you know again I think we just have to be kind to each other kind to ourselves and um, give us all an opportunity to kind of work through whatever complicated feelings that we that we may have, whether it's about the pandemic or anything else, and never stop talking about things like mental health and mental health awareness, because again, it can't be encapsulated into a time period, or even like May was Mental Health Awareness Month, still can't, you know, just kind of say, okay, well, that month is over and everybody's better. You know, this is Pride Month, and certainly the mental health of LGBTQIA folks also is a challenge, and we want to honor that and honor them. Um, and the fact that, you know, even things like being misgendered repeatedly, somebody not using their chosen name repeatedly damages their mental health. And so we also want to be aware of those things and kind of think of what are the small things that we can do to assist somebody and assist them in their, their mental health and making it better as well. Always these parts of the trail that tend to be a little bit more grown in, although this isn't too bad that you kind of hope that you didn't make a wrong turn onto a side trail that's going to end up in somebody's private property, but it looks like we're going to be okay. We're certainly walking in the right direction. And if you look right over there, you can see the city and one of the bridges, and that's just absolutely beautiful. Definitely can tell from some of the overgrowth that this is the the path less traveled. All right, well, I'm at the end of the main trail, so I guess the question is now how exactly do I get myself out? Because I wonder if what I took was kind of an unofficial side trail. I know I need to get up there, so I just got to figure out how to do that. So. Hold tight, this could be interesting. All right, so I've kind of come across this line here and hopefully this brings me up to where I need to be. 
the road is right there, so hopefully I can just pop that fence and be on my way. All right, got off trail, and now I'm onto a road. And again, not totally sure where I am, but I'm sure I'll figure it out quickly enough, and hopefully I'm not too far out of the way of where I need to be. Well, the trail was taken. I think I now know why, but that's all right. I wanted a little extra step time anyway, so all good. And I think I figured out where I'm going, although I'm on a road right now, but that's fine. You can see it behind me. Um, but I think I'm in the right direction and should be by my car soon, so all good. Yep, that's the sign for the park down there, so found it and all is going to be right. Yep, just got around the corner here and I'll get to the parking lot. Found the car. Time to get on the road. Today's hike was exactly what I needed. It allowed me to have a much clearer head going into the Afros and Nature camping trip clinic. It was also a good reminder that I need to take care of myself. That wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.